everyone, it's Sandra. Today I want to be doing a video on an update slash vlog of my wedding. I want to show you guys what I've got, what ideas I have, what my colors are, and all things like that. I have two containers next to me. One is half full of birthday stuff for my daughter. She's turning two. One is half full of birthday stuff and wedding stuff, and then the, this one is just full of wedding stuff. I also have a box here, huge box, that is full of flowers, fake flowers. I, don't, I didn't really want to do real flowers for my wedding. So let's go through everything I have so far. First of all, I want to tell you that I kind of have a weird color theme to my wedding. It's going to be burgundy, like a wine red, and sunflower yellow. So let's go through all my ideas I have. For centerpieces, I wanted to do like a fishbowl with some flowers in it. Okay, so I found these fishbowls for 50 cents a piece at Mark's, but they only had nine of them, so I still am looking for more fishbowls. But I wanted to use that for the centerpiece. And then I'm not 100% sure what I want to do for Inside, I don't know if I want to fill it with water just because I'm thinking, okay, on the day of my wedding, I'm going to have to fill it with water and dump out the water. So I don't know if I'm going to want to do all that effort. I think I just want to do just whatever. I might just do like rocks, white or black rocks with the sunflowers on top. I bought candles from the dollar store. They're actually... I don't remember how much they were but it was from the Dollar General. I'm going to be doing around these I'm going to be doing four votives uh, and then fill them with this. In this box all, all I have other than that is these little beads which I'm not sure if I'll be using them or not but I have them just in case I want to. Then I have my sunflowers and what's really convenient about these is, is that the heads pop off so that's going to be perfect for just laying the heads inside of the centerpiece bowls. And I have a whole box full of them. Okay, in this box so far I have two wedding books. They're from my friend Samantha. Shout out to Samantha. Um, wedding and The Knot. And I have them all like tabbed. Because I went through them. But yeah, they have a lot of good things in here for cake and invitation ideas and the parties and the ceremony and fish and flavors and everything like that. So I'm holding on to that. I might have these. I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use these. I'm not really like huge on, like I really don't care about what my invitations are going to look like. So when I saw these at Mark's, they were $1.99 a piece. And it's just a simple print it yourself invitation kit which I bought two of them since they're 50 and one but I was looking at them and they're kind of bland I don't know if I'm gonna do it but I don't know if I'm gonna use these but if I want to go cheap this is definitely it that's four bucks for a hundred invitations or you can't beat it so there's the second one at the end I'll go through what I have for my daughter's birthday but there's not much so Okay, another thing I have is this mirror. My boss gave it to me, and I'm going to be spray painting it. It's a frame. It's a huge frame. I think it's like maybe like three or four feet tall, and I think it's purple. I'll post a picture in so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm going to spray paint it white, and then with that, I'm also going to, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so with that, so I have the frame, and I'm going to take the back out, and then I'm going to put these across like this, and then different layers. So I'm going to do maybe like four or five, depending on how many tables I'm going to have. And then I'm going to do like, um, not a piece of paper, it's going to be like a, a label card, like maybe like this big, maybe like five inches long. And I'm going to have, you know, table one and everybody's names on it, table two and everybody's names on it. So all they have to do is walk in, sign the guest book, and read the frame to find out where they're going to be sitting. And then they're going to go to that table and then find their name card there. I thought it was such a cute idea to do the 
like little pearls. They're like obviously fake, but they're cute. So, and then holding them up, I was going to use these little gold glitter. Um, don't wear my nails. I actually did paint them. Are you proud of me? Because I'm not. Because they're terrible and falling off already. <laughs> That's the story of my life with nail polish. But yeah, I'm going to use these little gold clippy things to hold up the paper. Okay, so I have these things. I think I bought these at the dollar store. Like at the 99 cent dollar store. I'm going to be using this for the cards and gifts sign. So it's going to be holding up the card, you know, gifts and cards, table thing. And then I got a big one for, okay, we're having an open bar. Combining a lot of drinks and somebody taking pictures of you might not be the best thing. So I'm going to be using this chalkboard. I have an idea I found on Pinterest, I believe, of uh, something about, like, before you start shenanigans, you know, just remember where you're being photographed kind of thing. I thought that was going to be a cute little touch, but I needed this heavy duty one because it's a very heavy chalkboard, so. Okay, so I got these two. I don't know if I'm going to use these or not yet. Um, my idea which I'm pretty sure I stole from Pinterest, is to do like a honeymoon fund kind of thing. And I was going to do, I was going to dress this one and this one. I was going to do one as bride, like dress it up with, you know, white ribbon and stuff. Maybe like a little mini veil or something. I don't know. But then this one is going to be, the, you know, the tux. So I was going to have everybody do like oh put honeymoon fun money in this jar if you want cake in my face or put honeymoon fun money in this jar if you want cake in Dan's face and I am probably just gonna be doing my own makeup so I won't really care if I get cake in my face so I guess this will be okay to do uh, the only thing I'm worried about is is it tack I don't know if it's tacky to be like give me more money than you already just probably gave me with the gift you know Honeymoons are very expensive and so are weddings, so I thought it was a cute idea even if we only raise like 20 bucks with this Whatever, you know, I just thought it was cute next I have String lights. I bought these from Tuesday morning. I want to do this uh, The front head table is going to be right in front of the dance floor I wanted to do maybe string lights along that but I also was looking at my venue and They already have a lot of lights all over the place like that's just how they decorate it, with a lot of lights. So I don't even think I'll be needing these, but they were so cheap that I don't even care that I bought them. And I bought two of them. I bought two of them for the wedding. So I guess I'll just have to give one away or something. I bought this from... Where did I buy this from? Oh, Mark's! I bought it from Mark's for a dollar. It's a little bride hairpin, and then, or like a tiara, and then a bride sash with that. Um, I bought it for a dollar. I was like, a dollar? I can't pass this up. If I use it, cool. If I don't, who cares? It's a dollar. How I view most things in my life. Uh, it's only five dollars. Uh, it's only fifteen dollars. Like, and Dan hates it. He does. Okay, so I think all we have left is birthday stuff. First, let me wrap up wedding stuff with any more ideas that I have. I'm not going to show you guys a picture of my dress yet. I'm not 100% sure. I'm probably going this Saturday to go either buy it or just look more, depending on how I feel when I try it back on. Uh, I have a dress in mind, so that's why I'm saying it. At David's Bridal, I was going to go to, and then but I still have a lot of things to buy. I mean, I'm getting married in May of next year so I need to probably step things up a little bit. We're just kind of a little bit on hold with the major things like I want to do an engagement party but we're planning on moving soon so we're gonna wait till we move to do any type of party just because the house that we're living in is a little bit too small for any large amounts of people. I think we are planning on going to Hawaii. We don't want to really go anywhere crazy like we don't want to go to like Europe or anything. We just want to Kind of stay in the States. And I always wanted to go to Hawaii. At least say that I've been to Hawaii. We're not big travelers at all. So I think 
going to Hawaii would be out of our comfort zone, so let's do it kind of thing. He needs to get his tuxes. We're right now looking at photographers and wedding cake. I think on Tuesday we have wedding cake testing and all that stuff. So I'm really excited for that, of course. Yeah, I'll just keep updating you guys on everything I'm doing. Okay, let's do birthday stuff right now. Her theme for her birthday is going to be like farm animal. Her birthday's on November 7th, so I was thinking about doing like November 4th because I think that the 7th is like a Tuesday. So November 4th would be like that Saturday. So we're gonna do farm theme things. We'll just go bag by bag. And I'll explain to you what I bought. Okay, first things first. 97 cent balloons from Marks. Marks always has the great deals, so if you're looking for some great deals, go to Marks Closeout. I got these from Target in the dollar section. They're little straws that have cupcakes on them. I know it doesn't go with the theme, but they're cute, so I had to buy them. Then I bought Sophia, that's my daughter, a light up toy, which she's gonna love this. She's going to annoy the crap out of me with it, but it's going to be cute, so I had to buy it. Oh, I also bought her little farm animal thing. So this one's, if I can find its face, this one's a frog, and this one is a cow. I love them. They're so cute, and they were cheap, so I had to buy them. They're only two bucks, so. I bought these thinking they were cow print, and then I came home and was like, this is zebra, but I might keep it. I'm not sure. It doesn't really go with the theme. I have a little bit too many things that don't go with the theme. So I might return them and get cow print because of the fact that I bought cow print table covers. This, with this next to it, I don't know. I mean, it actually doesn't look that bad, so maybe I'll keep it, but like cows and zebras, but whatever. I bought this from Hobby Lobby for I think six bucks. Five bucks. I love it. I, once I saw it, I was telling Dan, I was like, I have to buy this. I don't care how much it is. <laughs> I'm just going to buy it. Because it's a table cover with cow print on it. How do you pass that up? I thought when I bought this that it was like one of those huge balloons with, with you know, the two. No. It's literally, what does it say? But look at her hand. It's tiny. I thought it was huge. It doesn't say how big it is. Yeah, it doesn't. But based on the picture, it's not that big. But that's okay. I mean, it's a two. That's all I needed was a two. It doesn't matter if it's huge or not. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get one that is huge. A little bag with some tissue paper in it to go with her gifts. It says dream big, little one. I believe my mom bought this for, for Sophia's uh, first birthday party or her baby shower. I'm not sure, but I love the bag and it's so good quality that I kept it because I'm a hoarder and I keep everything. I'm not joking. I keep everything. See, I am a hoarder. Napkins. This is from her first birthday party, but I'm like, it's napkin. Who cares? They're just wiping their face off and throwing it away. So I'm keeping them and they're going to be at her birthday party. Um, we bought these cute little uh, paper plates, and they are so adorable. There's the big size, and then there's the little size. I thought they were so cute. One for, you know, food, and one for cake. So cute. Fell in love with that. I don't know if these are really farm-themed, but when I saw them, I had to buy them. They're little baking cups with uh, stripes on them. I was thinking more farm, like red farm, but... Dan says they're not really farm themed, but who cares? A two-year-old isn't going to care. <laughs> She's not. She's really not. Some streamers, some more streamers. Oh, these cute little cups. Adorable little cups. Farm themed, too. Okay, so this is the whole reason why I went with farm themed. It's because I saw these <laughs> and was like, okay, her birthday is now going to be farm themed because it's farm themed invitations and farm themed thank you cards. They are the cutest. I opened them up and I just, I couldn't pass it up. It was on sale too. Oh, I just love them. I would have bought them for $4. I don't even care. I would have bought them for $5. I just, I love them. So that's how we came up with the farm theme and also Sophia loves cows and sheep and pigs. She loves them. Horses. She loves to say, oh, cow says moo, you know, uh, pig says oink kind of thing. And I think that's it.
But don't forget, as always, to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button and click the bell if you would like to get notifications on when I upload my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!